Hello and welcome to Grammar Level 1, Exercise 7. Today we're going to be focusing on the reinforcing the idea about helping verbs that was introduced in Exercise 6 and also going into more depth about conjunctions. We're only going to use two sentences today, just two sentences. So go ahead and pause the video, write down these sentences, put down your best guess at each, each answer. Remember to follow the standard procedures and hit play when you are ready for me to tell you the answers. All right, so I'm back with answers and explanations. Let's begin with the first sentence. I'm going to look for a, an, and the, the three articles of the English language. I do not see any of those three, so no free answers. Next easiest thing are nouns and concrete nouns. I have one here with Tom, one here with Jerry. Looking for any others. I left early. I don't see anything else. Now I'm going to look for action verbs. Those are usually pretty easy. I did stay. Stay is an action verb. I know it's not very active, but you can see somebody do that. <laughs> I'm sorry about the background noise. I have a restless dog in my living room right now. But I'm going to go over to the next part of the sentence. I have another action verb left. So now I'm going to use these four answers. I'm going to look to see if anything is modifying those words. Nothing is describing Tom. Nothing is describing Jerry. Nothing is describing the verb. I didn't stay quietly or anything like that, but I did leave early. Early is describing left. That's an adverb. All right. Now, I'm going to look for easy pronouns. I is a pronoun. I left early. All right, so I have what I have left here are two conjunctions. This is a conjunction, and I will show you how. It is joining these two single words together, Tom and Jerry. We're talking about both of those. It makes for a compound subject. And then over here I have this conjunction as well. It's one of the seven. And but or no for so yet. And it's not joining single words, it's joining big ideas. Alright, so it's joining the idea on the left with the idea on the right. Alright, now that leaves one word left. And if you remember from lesson six. The word did here is a helping verb, and it's putting stay in the past tense. I could put will in front of there and say Tom and Jerry will stay and put it in the future tense. So I'm going to leave this blank under here. Nothing goes in. Okay. Just the underline of the helping verb and the V underneath the main verb is enough. That's it for the first one. Go down to the second sentence. Move this up a little bit. It says, I am sick because I did not eat healthy food. I am sick because I did not eat healthy food. No, I did not forget a comma here in level two. We'll talk about why there isn't one. Okay, but let's go through. Did I have any a, ands, or thes? I do not see any free answers, so now I'm looking for concrete nouns. Food is a concrete noun. Anything else? Nothing that's jumping right out at me. All right, so now I have this concrete noun. Let me try to find any action verb to eat. All right. So, now I'm going to look for words that describe this food. I have healthy. That's going to be an adjective. And let's see here. I want to see if there's anything that describes the eat. Did I eat? No, I did not eat. Not eat. That's a negative. Okay, that means that this is an adverb. So, what on earth is did? I could change it with will. I will not eat. This is a helping verb that is helping us establish when the eat happens. I see I again. This is going to be a pronoun. I'm going to hop right over here and put pronoun underneath this one as well. Okay, I am sick because, because, I'm sick because. So I am, oh, I could change am out for an equal sign. This is a verb. I didn't spot it right away. This is a linking verb. It doesn't, it doesn't have an action involved. It's linking the subject, which is I, to the predicate, which is sick. I equals sick. So sick is describing the I, it's describing a pronoun. The only word that can do that is an adjective. I have one word left. And if you notice, I've got a big idea over here, and I have a big idea over here. No, it is not one of the seven, and, but, or, nor, for, so, yet. This is what you call a subordinating conjunction. And they are allowed. We have not used many of them up till now because they do complicate things a little bit. But their role is the same. If you notice, it's still joining this big idea with this big idea. So underneath, I'm going to write down conjunction. 
Down below I have some notes for you. I'll leave that up at the top so you can finish up. So some tricks of this. Helping verbs only help establish the main or help the main verb. And most of the ways they do that is they tell you when the verb is happening. So with the verb help, I have did help, will help, am helping. The main verb is help, the helping verb is did, will, and am. Okay. Down below that, conjunctions join. They either join two or more words, as in Tom and Jerry, or two or more ideas. They left, but I stayed. Okay. okay. Those are the tricks. Those are the things that you should know. That's it for the notes today. Go ahead and pause it if you need to finish these up. I'll give you the holes, the answers up above. Here are the answers. And that's going to be it for exercise number seven. I will see you at eight.